as Governor Walt's fool is still fighting for Uber and Lyft. Million rides. It's everyone from getting home safe from the bar to get to work to folks using it to get to Biggest school. Advocate. We have schools that contract to take kids to school and disability community. Powerful words from Governor Tim Walz today as Uber and Lyft's deadline to leave the city of Minneapolis, bye bye, Minneapolis. Bye bye. The company has set a May 1st bye bye, deadline bye bye, to Uber. leave after the Minneapolis City Council passed an ordinance that would increase drivers' pay, something the company say they cannot afford. Our Mayor McGuire is live Can't for us tonight. To what the anyway. governor says is necessary to keep ride share around. Mary? And Randy, the deadline for Uber and Lyft leaving Minneapolis is bye now bye, less bye, bye, than bye, a bye. month away. And now state legislators are looking back to Minneapolis City Council to do something before that happens. Look, I'm deeply concerned about this. I, I don't think there's a plan to deal with this. The best solution to... Oh, this is the same guy using him again. Minneapolis same driver. ...from city council members. That's what Governor Tim Walls... Using the same guy. Me. We have the company saying they're going to leave. We have what... I can only describe as magical thinking in the next 30 days. Somebody's going to create a new app that folks are up. I know why he says a oh, magical thinking. Look, Austin, Texas did it, dude. Wake up, Governor Waltz. 2024, baby. Right? Magical thinking. He's not magical thinking. There's a lot of companies ready to go. Fool world and country are going to know to use when they come to Minneapolis. Walls adds he has had some meetings with legislators to see what options they have to override the council if they have to. Override the, the council. Has learned no formal action has been taken on the state level to nullify the city's ordinance. <clears throat> Legislation has been brought forth to define what self-employed means, but it's unclear the impact, if any, that would have on the May 1st deadline. <sighs> As it stands, the ordinance ensures app drivers make the city's minimum wage of $15.57 an hour, requiring companies to pay drivers $1.40 per mile and $0.51 cents per minute. Some Minneapolis council members have said they are reviewing the ordinance with new data from the state on how much is needed to pay drivers minimum wage, a report that was released one day after the council's vote. Councilmember Andrea Jenkins took steps to allow the body to reconsider the ordinance at the Why did you allow to reconsider? 11th. A majority vote would be needed. That's that Kia, Kia driver, that guy that's whoring himself out to all the channels, fighting for Lyft and Uber. Anyways, good luck. I say goodbye. We're ready to wave you goodbye. Keep on protesting. Next one is on May the 1st. Rise up, drivers.